Championship leaders Southampton are in a position where Nottingham Forest fans hoped they would be. A third successive playoff campaign for Forest looks most unlikely. A second consecutive promotion for Saints is highly possible. Striker Marlon Harewood makes his first start for Forest since rejoining the club earlier this month. Forest haven't scored a goal here at the city ground since mid-November. Harewood partnered by Tudgay up front. Greg Cunningham returns to the defence. Southampton are without top scorer Ricky Lambert, who got a hat-trick in the 3-2 win over Forest back in September. Lambert is suspended. Three changes from the side that won at Coventry in the FA Cup last weekend. Davis, De Prado and Connolly all coming in. Fox. Connolly. Lalana. Chance for a shot here from Hammond. Nobody closed him down at all. And it was pushed away to safety by Lee Camp. The goalkeeper quite entitled to ask his outfield players why nobody was able to get near to Dean Hammond. The shot might just have been curling wide. Camp made sure that it went behind. Steve Cottrell have won five, drawn two and lost nine in League and Cup since taking charge. Forrest had that horrendous run of seven games without a win. Six of them were defeats, they didn't score in all seven of those. Harewood, Tuckey making the run. And the flag stays down, it's Tuckey looking to just lob that ball over Kelvin Davis. And in the end it was a simple catch for the Southampton goalkeeper. Already signs though are encouraging for Nottingham Forest with this partnership of Harewood and Tuckey. Always giving it away straight to Harewood. This is Tudgay. That's a trip. That'll be a yellow card. Just Hoybell. Southampton defender knows exactly what he's doing here. Knows that Tudgay was going to get away from it. And it will be a yellow card for Just Hoybell. McGugan to strike. Gets a deflection and another deflection as Harewood's shot was pushed away by Hoybell. Forrest's best chance of the match so far. It fell nicely there for Harewood, but look at Hoybell throwing his body in the way. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, the former Chelsea striker, Dutch international, now the first team coach here at the city ground. And as passionate off the pitch as he was on it. Cork is onside. Three options in the middle for Jack Cork. Can he pick out a teammate? Connolly, it's saved. De Prado with the rebound, and Southampton are in front at the city ground. Gulli de Prado has hardly made an impression in this match so far. But he has now. It's his 11th goal of the season. And the championship leaders are in front. Cork had plenty of time. He had three options. Connolly with the first shot. And then fired in the rebound from de Prado. Nottingham Forest nil. Southampton won. McCleary, can he get away from Fox? Decent ball in, just put behind by Hammond. Tudgay was approaching. No chances from the Southampton skipper. McGugan again to deliver. Right across, goal and just over. What a chance that was. Golden opportunity for Lynch. Good movement inside the penalty area, and Lynch heads it up rather than down. Steve Cottrell has never beaten Southampton as an opposing manager. Three draws and two defeats. All five of those were while he was in charge at Burnley. Forrest get a free kick. And again, Lewis McGugan might uh, fancy his chances from here, even though it is from quite a distance out.
Lines it up carefully. It's all the way through, and Davis has to beat it away. That shot got a touch on the way. And Davis was able to react. More encouragement for Forrest. Away by Hoybel. Oh, there was a, a leading arm there from uh, Luke Chambers. And it's Conley who is down. Southampton players surrounding the uh, referee. And Chambers may very well be in a bit of trouble here because the referee in his right hand looks to be holding a red card. And it is a dismissal for the Forest defender. Chambers sent off early in the second half, a straight red. And look at the reaction from the Forest boss. Here's the challenge again. Well, there's contact, most certainly. Is there intent? That's what the referee's got to decide. And he decided there was. Here's Conley. Gooley's in the middle. Conley leaves it. Gooley! Nice move from Southampton. The low ball in, Connolly leaves it, and Gurley perhaps wasn't expecting that ball to come through to him. Now, a bit of room here for Adam Lalana. Connolly's in the middle, De Prado looking to join him. De Prado, poor first touch. Here's Cork, fires it in, and away to safety off the boot of Moosey. Could Jack Cork perhaps have struck this shot first time? Perhaps not. Cork. Here's Lalana. Conley is wide. Three in the middle. This is Hammond. Harding. A little bit of room perhaps for Schneidlin, and it's tucked away in the end by David Conley. The man who is a villain in the eyes of the Forest supporters is once again a hero in the eyes of those Southampton fans. And has that sealed all three points for the championship leaders? Harding with the ball in, the little touch on, and Connolly was first to react. It's another corner for Southampton. That's appreciated by the Southampton fans behind the goal, which their team are attacking. One who's aimed towards Hammond, didn't reach him, this is Lalana. Schneiderlin. Might think about a shot here, Morgan Schneiderlin! Oh, what a goal that is! It's something of a rarity as well, just this third goal for Southampton in nearly 150 appearances for the club. Goalkeeper might just get a touch to it. Possibly does. But he couldn't prevent it going in. And Southampton lead by three goals to nil. And a chance now for Southampton to break. This is Adam Lalana. Conley to his left. And Holmes is making a run to his right. Here's Lee Holmes. Almost. Denied by a flying save from Camp. Three in the middle. Connolly. Hammond! And again, Camp denies Southampton a fourth goal. Plenty of space here for the Southampton skipper. And he hits it very well. Good height, though, for the goalkeeper to deal with. Plenty of Forest fans might have left. None of a Southampton persuasion. They hope for another goal. But well, they'll get another corner. Camp again pushing it behind. Corner floated in. Oh! What a chance for Aaron Martin. A little touch on at the near post. And Martin, just look on the right of your picture here, he's all alone. Southampton so close to goal number four. 